Good morning. It is 5 a.m. and I am driving to Alabaster, Alabama because I am judging USA National Miss Alabama and I'm so, so excited. But it is so cold. I think it's like 19 degrees right now and I am so, so chilly. I know I am running behind and I told my hair and makeup artist that I would get her a Starbucks with me this morning and so I really need to go. But welcome to today. I'm leaving Will's house right now. We flew in this weekend. Today is Sunday, January 21st and it's just going to be such a great day and I'm just going to be bringing you along for like behind the scenes and like all the action so let's get going i stopped to make a starbucks order because... your destination is on the left hey i have a mobile order for lauren okay go ahead and pull her out first thank you yeah. i'm so excited and i actually made it like right on time or at least like i have like five minutes to spare right now Hey. Yes, please. Yes. All right, you're all set. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. You. She's so nice. I am so excited to go and judge this. Like, I don't think you understand. Like, I have never judged a pageant before, like this to this extreme. I've judged one other pageant, and it was like a school pageant. Hold on, I need to figure out where I'm going. Hello, Thomas High School. Is where Head it is. west on Kent Dairy Road toward Highway 119. I should be arriving right on time, which is perfect because I have to figure out where I'm going. It's like in their auditorium from the art center, I think. And Asia, the hair makeup artist, if I ever talk about her, she has to make sure I'm hidden because I can't be in the room with contestants. And she's doing like she's like a sponsor, so obviously I can't be in the room with the contestants. So the contestants should be out of there by the time I get there. But I have to call her when I get there and like let her know, hey, like I'm pulling in or like whatever. So I also have to like wait a minute to like make sure all of the girls are out so I can walk in but it's going to be so exciting I think we have like I think 46 or 47 girls competing and it ranges from ages 5 to 25 so it's going to be like a broad range of girls I posted a TikTok last night of me packing for tonight and people were like are you not like forced basically to crown your successor basically the girl that comes in after me I personally have never been made or required to do that at the state level that's the only title I have held is at the state level and I've never been like asked to do that specifically but I actually got asked by the state director to judge like BB head judge this weekend so I'm so excited. I'm also judging with my friend Taylor who owns the tiny closet and I'm just so excited to see her too. I couldn't sleep last night. Like it was a it was an early morning obviously. Like I think I went to bed at like 2 30 in the morning. So like I'm running on like minimal sleep but like I'm feeling fine. Competitions that I'm going to be judging is interview this morning which is like four hours I think or like four and a half hours of the morning. We break for lunch and then they do opening number which isn't judged and then they do runway which is like a fun little outfit and then eat Gown. Oh, is that the school? Hold on, you're gonna see it in a minute. Do you see that? That looks like the White House. Hello? Okay, so we're bougie today. If you want to watch more pageant vlogs, I have my full USA National Miss Alabama State pageant last year from when I won it, and I also vlog nationals, and I have two other pageant systems on my channel. So I love doing like little pageant vlogs, and I'm so excited they're still here, and they're like back, at least for like a fun like little day. So anyways, we're pulling into the school. Let's figure out where we need to go. Give my spotlight, wanna feel the rush. No, it's never enough. My song, put it up on the stereo. Okay, so apparently there's a door to the Performing Arts Center. You can be quiet, please. Thank you. That's the main school. I've never been here before, but this is cute. I like this place. Okay. I'm like trying to look for like any sort of car. This has to be the Performing Arts Center. Faculty entrance. Would it be like next to the football field? Hello. What are you? This looks like it would be a performing arts center. I've been in plenty. That looks like a football shrine. Like legit, they have a TV going of like football players. Dude, this place is nice, girl. Okay, what if I do like performing? Thompson Performing Arts Center. Head south. Oh, it's on the opposite side. Oh, so I've been practicing my interview questions. I'm like, what I'm gonna ask the girls. Why am I nervous to like talk to them? Like, I don't know. I feel like certain ages of girls are like so scary to me. Like, not really. Like, they're precious. Then turn left onto Warrior Parkway. Is that it? Good thing it's like six in the morning. It's six thirty actually. Turn left onto Warrior Parkway. Also, y'all, I haven't driven in a hot minute. <laughs> in 600 feet, your destination will be on the left. Really? Will it be? I'm not... I mean, I wish you could see the sunrise. It's so pretty. It's like cotton candy. Your destination is on the left. Oh, I 
I see balloons. I see balloons. Eek! And it's pink. OMG. Okay. Let's go, girl. Let us go. I don't know where the... She said stage door. I really should have scoped this out beforehand, but let's get going. Oh, it's about to be so chilly. Yeah, this looks good. Like, it's not like too much, yeah. but it's not like. Yeah. It's, it's not perfect. natural, but it's not stage, stage. Yeah. Yay! Yay! And then it's UNM AL24. Are you on Tally, Jamie? Staff. The snack queen <laughs> coming in. Oh, there's stars in my eyes. I can't see which way is right. But oh, if there's one thing that I know. We just got done with interview. I am wearing Taylor's mom's coat because it is so cold, but we're about to have lunch. Didn't you have a completely different one and then you changed it? Yes. <laughs> This is my eating lunch outfit. <laughs> Be prepared to smile. <laughs> oh, oh, cute. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're going to judge on stage. Here's Taylor that, back there. Oh, you got some, okay. <laughs> Let me just over here. We have the Red Bull, we have the laptop. We have everyone prepared we're and so ready excited. to go. We're running late. The birthday helped us. Where's my mother? We don't know. Oh, you can say Oh my gosh, I almost just ran into that. <laughs> it's so cool. Break an ankle, for real. Oh my God.
<laughs> okay, hi everyone. We just got done with judging and we are snacking. Um, they're calculating everything and it is so cold in here. It feels like Antarctica, but I'll do like a little debrief when we get in the car. But yeah, I think it's like completely pitch black outside. Uh uh. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> I was checking to see if it was still light outside. It's not. It's not at all. parking lot but I'm going to like drive not next to everybody that way I can like chit chat before we go home and I can warm up my car but we just got done with pageant and we're going to do a recap because I did not realize how much I wasn't going to be able to talk and I was judging so we are going to park and chat okay so welcome I have so many things everywhere so just like don't look at my messy car but it was so so much fun trying to figure out how to get the air going because it's so cold I don't even know the temperature outside I think it's 20 something but so I tried to film as much of the crowning as possible. I'm going to see how long it's going to take me to get home. We fly back to New York tomorrow and I don't even know what time we like get. I think our flight leaves at like 11 a.m. Right now it is 7.18 and let's see how long it's going to take me to get back home. An hour and 24 minutes. Okay, so I should be getting home around 9 p.m. Um, and I'll probably just like pack in the morning. But it was so good. The girls were so talented. It just got to the point where like the girls were so good. Like all of the girls were so good. They were so talented. And it was like, man, like you have to pick one. Like what? I don't know, but they were like incredible. Like I am always blown away with like how positive they are and like uplifting and their platforms and their community service. We're just having like a little cutie debrief like in the car, which we never do anymore since I've moved to New York. As a judge, it was very difficult to narrow it down. Like I wasn't paying attention to someone's look. I wasn't paying attention to like what they were wearing, but I was really looking at their heart and what they were going to bring to the table, what they were going to bring to nationals, what were their market plans? How would they use social media to promote the pageant? 
pageant, like how they would be a great role model to the younger girls or what the younger girls were looking for in a role model. Like it was just so, so fun. So one of the questions they asked them, like, I don't know, like if you're a pageant girl and like you want to know like the questions I asked, I asked why they chose this pageant system because there are so many pageant systems and it's so weird because I think for the past three years I have constantly held an Alabama state title and now I don't have a state title. Like I'm not tied to any pageant of any sort now. So it's like, what do I do now? You know, it's like crazy. But of course I asked them why this system. I loved asking about, you know, their favorite community service project that they did. I loved asking how they were authentic and true to their self on social media. I asked these questions more so for like the teenagers and like the misses and stuff like that. For the littles, that was a little harder, but like they were so easy to talk to. And like you would just ask them about school and they would just talk to you about their animals. Like there were so many little girls that had pet chickens and it was so cute. And they're just like, I dress up my chickens or like my chickens run around all of, oh, like, I don't even know. It was just so, so cute. I'm like on like a pageant high. Like I just love pageants because I think that they so help girls self-esteem, their confidence. Like you could just see how much today meant to so many of the girls. And I'm just so proud of them. So if you're one of the girls competing, like give your, like you should be proud of yourself. Like even if it wasn't this pageant and you like go out, like you're stepping out of your comfort zone, you're doing something scary. Like you're public speaking, you're in front of all these people, you're allowing yourself to be judged by others. And it, there's a lot to say for that. A lot of people see pageants as superficial and they will see them as, you know, it's just a waste of money. You're just, it's just a beauty contest basically. And the beauty of your heart and what your heart is, is much, much more important than what your face looks like or your hair color. I am looking strictly at the girl, like the girl's heart. And I'm just so proud of them. And I'm just so excited to see like what they do with the title. So exhausted. I just want to like peel these lashes off, which I'm just going to go ahead and do because Oh, that feels so good. This is so, so much better. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely comment down below your favorite part of this vlog. I wish I could have vlogged more. We were running really late on the interviews. I think we were running like an hour behind because we were just taking our time, like looking over bio sheets and configuring questions for girls. Like, and it also didn't help that I had never judged before. So I was like, I need someone to hold my hand and guide me. Like I need someone to show me. But the other two judges were so nice and I love them. And like, I just loved hanging out with them all day. So it was just so much fun. But I love you guys so so much if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you want to join the family you can click that subscribe button also i love you guys so so much and i'll be seeing you in my next video bye